Yo, what's poppin' gamers? Welcome back to a brand new bad business video. And today I'm gonna be showing you guys my lowest recoil honey badger setup. Now this setup is actually a ton of fun to use. It's pretty fast paced, 91 mobility. You can make it a little bit faster if you're okay with having a tiny bit more recoil. Like for example, you can take off the stock and just use the default and you can throw on the lightweight and that'll push you to 98 mobility. Uh, if that's something you wanna do, you can do that. Uh, but our goal is to have the lowest recoil possible and extended stock is gonna help with that a ton. Uh, there is similar recoils that you can get to this one, but this is, in my opinion, the slowest uh, vertical recoil speed you can get. And if there's a slow vertical recoil uh, build, that's the easiest to control. It's much easier to control, uh, but the other ones are a little bit faster. Uh, so this is probably the best you can get uh, as of now. Uh, let me just go ahead and show this to you real quick. This is without me controlling it. Look how slow this goes up. That's a whole mag, okay? And then this is me controlling it. An absolute beamer. Obviously, we have a little bit of that, but I won't be shooting that long uh, in fights, so. But yeah, this setup actually does melt quite a lot, not gonna lie. Good hip fire uh, spread, as you guys can see. Oh, oh. Oh, where did you come from, bud? Why is everybody lagging in these servers, man? Every server I've went into today, it just lag. I might have to swap lobbies. My team's too good. Can't even kill anybody. What the? You guys saw that? Just so you guys know, I actually prefer the Honey Badger with a lot of recoil. So if it looks like my aim's off, that is why. Uh, I actually prefer, you know, having to pull down a lot more. It makes me a lot more focused uh, while I'm playing as well. Cause I have a really hard time focusing. I think I've talked about that before. And when I have uh, higher recoil weapons, I actually have to pay attention a little bit more. And that's why I was never a big fan of the Galil for the longest time. Um, but then I found a setup that I can put on it that gives it a tiny bit of recoil, but still like pretty much none. So it's not, not that fun of a weapon. Oh my god. Keep in mind, this still isn't a build that I would run, just so you guys know. And pretty much, if you want the lowest recoil possible on the any Honey Badger setup, put on 556 and you instantly have much, much lower recoil. Uh, so you can put it on your current builds that you have on the Honey Badger. If it has a lot of recoil, you can throw on 556. You're obviously going to lose some damage. But uh, in the long run, you do get better recoil. So you can always try that out as well. You don't have to use my specific build. But realistically, you could throw on 556 on anything and it'll help with recoil. Try it out, you see what I'm talking about. I might die here. Okay, we're fine. Oh, pain, dude. I thought I was gonna get the second guy. Dude, I was shooting right next to his arm that entire time. Got him. Go ahead and jump up. We're on flank now. I did see a guy over here. He jumped down. Got him. Can we get the other guy? I think they did. Oh my god. There's a lot of people. I might die here. Let's back up. I'm trying my best to stay alive here. Where did you come from? Oh. I haven't been able to push up this left side at all this match. Oh, there goes my health. I right, see we can finally push this up. Getting shot in the back. Oh, nice. Let's get this objective, boys. They had the lead for way too long. Let's see if we can change that. I'm dead. I got pre-fired. I might have to turn outfits on so I can actually see who's the better player out of groups so i'm not dying as much but we'll see if we turn that on or not i've been using simplified for a while now uh i've been enjoying it but i do think that it makes matches a little bit more boring when you don't see people's creativity of characters that's the main reason why i usually keep them on also so i can detect which player is who because there's obviously with somebody is uh skilled i can remember the outfit and who i have to focus out of a group of players 
I don't know if it'll switch mid game. Sometimes you have to leave and rejoin. Yep. It's unfortunate. All right. Can you die? The outfit should update. There we go. All right. They're all updated now. It took a minute for all the other ones to load. We're behind quite a few. I do want to try to clear this out first. I want to die here. There we go. All right. Oh, LML is full red. So if he's in a group of players, he's probably the one I had to focus. Climb up this way. We still have mid. Nope, we lost it. I choked all my shots. How are you not dead? No, I just, I think I hit the headshot there. I'm not sure if it would have registered. Getting a phone call, spam. We don't like spam calls. All right, we're gonna push up on this guy because he's just holding this area on my teammates. Where's the XK guy? He was the one that was holding it down. Oh my, what's, hello. Can you please stop jumping in circles, please? I don't even know what I'm supposed to do there. What am I supposed to do when somebody's jumping in circles? I run out of mouse room. No, come on, man. Can we please have a flip spawn option in the game? Please, at least flip a couple, man. Stop spawning them in a circle around me. And I get sniped. I'm angry. I'm gonna get sniped again. I'm not staying here. Pain! <laughs> oh, I'm getting beamed. My health. Where did my health go? I healed. I literally used my stem. Still says zero. It's not charging. I okay. My game bugged. Cool. What the? All right. He gained the ability to teleport and levitate. He's an airbender. He mastered all traits. The whole squad's here. What's up, boys? This is a very close match. I'm not going to lie. We got to capture these. They are now in the lead. Now I'm just playing for the win. That's all I want now. If you hit a lucky headshot, I'm going to lose my mind. Oh my God. And we lost. My team's not going to be able to turn it around in time. There's no way. Somebody get there. Dude. Oh God. Why is that XK killing me that fast? What's your ping? He's just teleporting. What was that? Did you see that? Look how my teammates are spawning here. And we're not grabbing this objective. That's why we lost. Cool. And then I spawned next to somebody. Like, what am I supposed to do? Cool. But that is basically the low recoil honey badger. Uh, like I said, you can put this on with anything. For example, the marksman barrel. I can take off. Let's take off the muzzle here since we can't use one anyways. We can take that off and then we can throw on a recoil control. Make sure you do the one that's handling speed, not the hip fire. You always want decent hip fire. Uh, and then if we go in game with this, now this is gonna have, like I said, it's gonna have a lot more recoil than what the other one did. Let's go inside real quick. It's gonna have a lot more recoil, that's a given. But this is what it's looking like. Not too bad. Um, and then when I control it, As you can see, that is a beamer. It's very nice. Uh, and I'll show you the damage difference here. Oh, dude, every lobby, man, there's people skipping. Yeah, like I said, you can throw this 556 on any build and it's instantly going to improve your recoil control. Uh, you just got to be, you know, be aware that it is going to lower your damage. Uh, but with something like this, it's actually not that bad using it on a marksman barrel. I was only using mine because I like to play aggressive, as you guys know. I think I'm dead here. Oh, thank you, teammate. Oh, and sniped. 
I love being targeted. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. I just wanted to showcase uh, the 556 to you guys because obviously my Honey Badger, best class of the video, that's what I like to use. This is the other option for people that like lower recoil and the Honey Badger has a lot of recoil uh, most of the time. So this is the best way to decrease that. Uh, you're just losing a little bit more rate of fire and damage. So keep that in mind. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. Thank you guys so much for all the support I recently on the channel. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you guys again in the next video. Peace out.